Praise God. I'm glad that I've caught you. My name is George Adijemfi, a resident pastor of ICC in Luton. And we are bringing you this exciting program called Be Encouraged. And I strongly believe that the Lord God is going to do wonders in your life. In the next five minutes, we're going to speak encouragement into your life, into your spirit, into everything that you are involved in. May the Lord God bless you and lift you up above all things in Jesus' mighty name. I would like to pray with you. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you. We give you all the praise and glory. We pray, O oh God, the sound of our voice will bring nothing but encouragement to the people out there. Those that are going into terrible situation. We pray that with your word that you have given unto us, it will bring understanding, it will bring stability, it will bring favor, grace, and above all, encouragement. We thank you, we honor you, in Jesus' name, amen. Now I would like you to turn your Bible with me quickly. In Mark, the book of Mark chapter 4, chapter 4, Mark chapter 4. And let's see what the Lord God has there for us. And as I said, let's quickly read from verse number 35. This is what the word of God says. On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. 36. Now, when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. And other little boats were also with him. 37. And a great windstorm arose. The waves beat into the boats so that it was already filling. 38. But he was in the stern, asleep on the pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? 39. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. 40 and 41. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And 31, 41, sorry. And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, Who can do this? Who can, how can, who can this be? that even the wind and the sea obey him. As I said to you, we are coming your way with words of encouragement. This is the situation that the disciples find themselves in. We don't know what you are going through. You don't know what you are facing. We don't know how life is treating you. Maybe things are happening and no one is aware of. But hear this, Jesus asks the disciples, why are you so fearful? Then I ask myself, why is Jesus telling them that? They are in terrible problem. They are struggling. They don't know what to do. And Jesus woke up and asked them, why are you fearful? It tells me nothing but one thing. That he has already told them what they need to do when they find themselves in any kind of situation. Child of God. We want you to know, we want you to understand. With the word of God, Bible says that all things are possible. When you put your trust in the Lord, not in your position, not in your situation, God that you serve has the ability, the power, the encouragement for you to come out of the situation. Bible says that after listening to him, come in the sea, come in the waters, and telling them that peace be still. Bible says that they started asking themselves, who is this person? And thank be to God, this person is also in your life. And today, if you listen to him and not to your problem, every situation will come down in the mighty name of Jesus. We just want to come to your way and encourage you. Trust God. 
Be strong, be courageous, and above all, conquer fear, find hope, and be encouraged. God bless you.